Hello, everyone. I'm John Basilakis from Kendeva Drug Delivery. Today, I'm going to give you an overview on Kendeva, on our drug delivery technology, and I'm going to focus on microneedles. Kendeva is a CDMO. Now, the name Kendeva might be new, but we're hardly a new company. We were built on the legacy and the technical achievements from 3M Drug Delivery Systems Division. We were established earlier in the year following the divestiture of the Drug Delivery Systems Division at 3M, thereby becoming Kendeva. And we are proud, of course, to serve all of our customers with the same expertise that we previously had, which includes formulation, development, and manufacturing. Kendeva has a range of drug delivery technologies and capabilities, as indicated on the slide. Some of our more established technologies include our inhalation and our transdermal. We're well known for our MDIs and our DPIs, as well as our drug and adhesive patches. Today, though, what I want to do is I want to focus on microneedle technology. This is a newer technology of ours, and we essentially have two platforms. We have solid microneedles called solid microstructural transdermal systems, and we also have hollow microneedles. Before I get into the details on microneedles, I want to talk to you about our end-to-end -end capabilities, which include formulation, product development, scale-up manufacturing, and commercial manufacturing. So under each of these headings, you see some of the key aspects of each of these capabilities. What's important to note here is that Kendeva is going to work with its partner very closely throughout each of these phases, through the formulation, product development, all the way through commercial manufacturing. So in the end, what, we're really, what I'm really trying to tell you is what we're going to do is we're going to help you produce the product that you want. We're going to help you with the regulatory process, ultimately so you can achieve your goal, which is to produce the product. Okay. Back to drug delivery with microneedles. Microneedles are used to deliver drugs into the skin. Just a little background here on skin anatomy. Skin is thin. It's approximately one and a half, two millimeters thick. It's made up of a thicker outer stratum corneum, a thinner epidermis, which is just below the stratum corneum, and then a dermal layer. So microneedles are specifically designed to deliver into the epidermis and into the dermis. Now, currently, uh, most of the time, drugs are administered into the skin using a conventional needle and syringe. Now, the problem here, there's two major problems. The one is volume. Uh, usually, uh, you can deliver 50 to 100 microliters using a conventional needle and syringe, which is really a small volume. And the second problem, and, and probably the biggest problem, is that it's difficult to do. It requires a trained healthcare professional. And, and the method itself is not very precise or very accurate. So hence, companies like Kendeva, as well as other companies, are in the process of developing a much more um, precise and accurate way, an easy way, of delivering drugs into the skin. So Conteva has uh, two technologies. One is a solid microneedle system that's designed to deliver drugs into the epidermal dermal layers. And um, Conteva also has a hollow microneedle system that's designed to deliver drugs precisely into the dermis. I've indicated here some of the key user benefits um, of using microneedles. They consist of the potential to address needle phobia, uh, as indicated before, precise and consistent delivery to the skin. And again, this is unlike the conventional uh, needle and syringe. And um, also designed to be easy to use at home as well as in a clinical setting. So the end result is that the patient is more likely to adhere to the therapy. And this is especially important for uh, chronic conditions. Solid microneedles, shown on the left-hand side of the slide, consist of a patch with an array of microneedles and an applicator. The microneedles are, are coated with a drug. The key here is that this is non-aqueous. Currently, or our most advanced program is a phase three clinical program with Radius Health, and this is for the treatment of osteoporosis. And I'll have a little more to say about this in a moment. Hollow microneedles shown on the right-hand side of the slide 
consist of an injector and a cartridge. Key here is that the cartridge is filled with a solution and then the cartridge is inserted into the injector and the drug is administered. So this is an aqueous system. A solution is injected. Currently, or our most advanced programs are phase one programs, they're cancer vaccine programs. And I have a few more words to say about that in a moment. Key features of the microneedles are shown on this slide. For solid microneedles, again, they're designed to deliver non-aqueous drug to the epidermis and dermis. The microneedle length is 500 or 700 microns long. Drug content capacity is up to 300 micrograms. Wear time is drug dependent. And a key feature of the solid microneedles is the potential for improved stability and reduced cold chain costs. For hollow microneedles, they deliver solutions of drug into the dermis. The microneedle length is 1,000 or 1,500 microns long. The lumen diameter, or the opening at the end of the microneedles, is 80 microns. And a key feature of these microneedles is they deliver volumes of half a mil to two mils. And a typical delivery time is less than two minutes. For both solid and microneedles, it's important to note that these are designed to be easy to use and for self-administration. And again, important features of the microneedles are precise and accurate delivery to the epidermal dermal layers of the skin. On the next few slides, I want to talk to you about some of our key microneedle programs. For a solid microneedle program, we have a very exciting study with Radius Health. Uh, in this particular program, a drug abaloperatide, which is a 34 amino acid peptide, is administered to osteoporosis patients with, um, with our solid microneedles. Um, it's a 12 month study. Patients are dosed daily. They are dosed with 300 micrograms of abaloperatide. Uh, enrollment has been completed in this study, for this study, and we expect top line results uh, fourth quarter uh, in 2021. Our hollow microneedles are currently being evaluated in two cancer vaccine studies. One of them is from Mayo Clinic. They're doing a phase one clinical study in glioblastoma patients. They're delivering a cellular therapy, dendritic cells, to these patients using our hollow system. Uh, this study is expected to complete at the end of this year. And Sensei Biotherapeutics is also conducting or has conducted a phase one clinical study in, um, in cancer patients using a bacteriophage. Uh, this, is a, this is a virus that expresses the cancer antigens. Uh, it is administered with our hollow microneedle system. And um, this study was completed in December of, of 2018. They are progressing forward with phase two study, as is the Mayo Clinic. I'd like to summarize here and give you some reasons why you should consider Kindeva as your partner for product development and commercialization. First, we have significant and long-term expertise in inhalation, transdermal, and microneedle drug delivery. Moreover, we understand the drug development process. We have expertise in formulation, product development, regulatory, and manufacturing. We'll work with you very closely throughout this entire process. And lastly, we have very flexible business models. We're willing to work with you to move forward. And with that, I'd like to conclude and thank all of you for your attention.